Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Thursday, the 10th of June. As always, we begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world a light no darkness can extinguish. And we're going to be singing our hymn throughout the service today. Um, it uh, fits with the, re the gospel lesson, All Glory, Laud, and Honour, and we will sing the first verse now. All glory, Laud, and Honour to the Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. Thou art the King of Israel, thou David's royal son, who in the Lord's name camest, the King and Blessed One. All glory, Lord, and honour to the Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. And our psalm today is Psalm 71, verses 1 to 3, which we say together. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And now we will sing the next two verses of our hymn. The company of angels are praising Thee on high, and we with all creation in chorus make reply. All glory, Lord, and honour to the Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. The people of the Hebrews with palms before thee went. Our praise and prayer and anthems before thee we present. All glory, Lord, and honour to the Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. And our Gospel is Luke 19, 28 to 40. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. After he had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. When he had come near Bethphage and Bethany, at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of the disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, Why are you untying it? Just say this, The Lord needs it. So those who were sent departed and found it, just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, Why are you untying the colt? They said, The Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus, and after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they sat, set Jesus on it. As he rode along, people kept spreading their cloaks on the road. As he was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out. 
the gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So here we have a gospel lesson that fits on Palm Sunday, which is before Easter. But as we're just marching through the gospel of Luke, this is where this takes place. And so we have this gospel today as well. Um, he's come, He's had a wonderful experience. People have seen all the deeds of power that Jesus has done. Uh, they are amazed at him. And here he is approaching Jerusalem. And um, there had been the... Uh, the foretelling of the Messiah coming to Jerusalem, and uh, the Messiah would come to rescue Israel uh, from all of its oppression. And they had seen such signs in Jesus that many of them thought this was the Messiah. And, um, but they understood the Messiah to be like an earthly king. So they're welcoming him as a king. And the oppression that they want to be delivered from is, pro is pretty much the Roman oppression. Um, but Jesus knew that his kingdom was going to be far more than just an earthly kingdom at one set little time uh, in history. Uh, Jesus knows that the real Messiah, he, is to deliver not just one group of people in history, but to deliver all humankind um, by overthrowing the oppressor, not just a political entity in a moment in time, but to overthrow the evil one. Uh, the one which can lead us astray, which uh, does things like bring hate into our lives and uh, conflict. Um, sadly, we've witnessed some of this happening uh, this past week uh, with the Muslim family in uh, London who were killed uh, with just the one surviving boy. Um, Jesus came to overthrow the evil one. And uh, we've got work to do. Uh, if we belong to Jesus, then we have to be engaged in the work of peacemaking. Uh, not just peacekeeping, but peacemaking. It's got to be more active than that. Um, so let us celebrate as Jesus as the king of our lives, but the king of the world, and a world that looks very different from the world we live in right now. A world where people of all different faiths, remember, Jesus wasn't Christian. <laughs> Jesus was Jewish. Uh, let us celebrate uh, a king who can lead all people, all people of faith, into peace. And um, let us give our lives to that. Let us give our lives to making peace um, among ourselves. Uh, there's plenty of um, discourse and, and, and uh, plenty of disagreement among Christians themselves but also between faiths as well. Let us recognize that God's way, God's kingdom, is one of peace. And now let us sing the next verse in our hymn. To thee before thy passion, they sang their hymns of praise. To thee now high exalted, our melody we raise. All glory, Lord, and honor to the Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. And uh, let us confess the faith of our baptism in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In our prayers today, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with hear our prayer. We pray to Almighty God and to Jesus, our Messiah, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may depart this life in your faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Luke and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In our prayers, we continue to pray for the sick, those known to us, those unknown to us, those in our parish. Today, in our cycle of prayer for the sick, we pray especially for Marion Conlon, Vic Burden, Jean Griffin, Jim Glass, Linda Sutton, Anthony Mary, Lori Ann Huffman, Diane Chandler. We pray for all in need of healing and for communities in need of healing. We pray, O oh Lord, that we might all know the healing touch of Jesus and have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit and peace in our souls and in our communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our refugee family. We pray for Karima, for Muhammad, for Fatin, and Ahmed. Keep them safe, O oh Lord. Keep them together. We give thanks for the ways we are able to communicate with them. And we pray for more good news um, that somehow their case will move forward more rapidly. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for 10 more households in our parish list. Uh, today we pray for... William and Shirley Cooper, for Sherry Cope and Nathan, for Arden Cornford and Dr. Janice Whit Witcher, for Raul and Melissa Cotijo, for Eileen Cousins, for uh, James uh, Cowman and Catherine Osborne, and Caroline and Benjamin, for John and Maureen Cowman, for Andrew Cox and Catherine Smith, for Brian and Karen Cox, and for David, Allison, Cameron, and Sidney Cox. We give thanks for each one, O oh Lord. We pray for their health and safety and well-being, and we pray that they might know they belong to a community of faith which cares and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, today we pray for the Diocese of Upper South Carolina, in the Episcopal Church of the United States. We pray for their bishop and all the clergy and people and in all that they must do in their mission to serve God in their place. And we pray that they might be encouraged in knowing the world is praying for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the uh, cycle of prayer for the SSJE, we pray for another brother, Brother Jeffrey Tristram. We give you thanks for him, O oh Lord. We pray for his ministry, his words of wisdom, and the ways he reaches out. May your grace continue to flow richly through him. And may he know that there is a community praying for him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray our nighttime prayer from the Anglican Church of New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And we pray our collect for this week. O God, from, all, from whom all good proceeds, grant that by your inspiration, we may think those things that are right, and by your merciful guiding, do, may do them. 
Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now we will sing the last verse of our hymn. Thou didst accept their praises, accept the prayers we bring. Who in all good delightest, thou good and gracious King. All glory, Lord, and honor to the Redeemer King. To whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us in evening prayer tonight. Uh, tomorrow is Friday, and uh, we have a special Teze night prayer uh, tomorrow, uh, led by our deacon Sheila Plant and uh, other voices. Uh, it's a very meditative uh, service, time for silence and some beautiful chants. So I hope you'll be able to join us. And then we pick up again with all our, of our evening prayers the rest of the week. God's blessing to you and a good night's sleep.